All right, so today we are gonna talk about the abundance alignment technique and how this technique works, why it works, where it was started, some places to use it, some places not to use it, and how it fares. And by the way, if you want to check out the video that I did, there is a video compiling all the different techniques that I've done and experienced over the years after investing like 450K over the past six, seven years and coaching thousands of people how all the different techniques and methodologies compare against each other and one of these is this one. So uh, you can check that video down below. It should be in the comments there and let's dive into the abundance alignment technique. Okay, so abundance alignment technique. What is it? The point of the abundance alignment technique. Now, this is a technique that I actually personally developed and I developed it on the basis of things felt like they were taking too long to achieve. Also, a lot of the, pro the different modalities and methods I had used, even though I had put in thousands of hours in doing them, I felt like a lot of them were focused on getting to the root causes, trying to um, brainwash or trying to like convince your body of something that felt like a lie. Also trying to uh, push something or pull like, push something in through repetition and passion or pull something out. And I thought there had to be a more effective way. And so after doing things like uh, color therapies and um, dousing, all sorts of different techniques that I loved and that really helped, I wanted something that was more precise, more succinct, that could be duplicatable with person after person. And that's what led me to create the abundance alignment technique. Now. What is the abundance alignment technique? Well, it's all based off of this. To every, now to believe this, first off, you gotta know that everything's energy. So energy is everywhere, everything's made out of energy. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed, but it can be transferred, that's important. And to also know that to every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So the philosophy of the abundance alignment technique is that memory, is stored in every part of our body. So it's not just in the conscious or subconscious, but it's in all your organs, all your glands, and all your cells. And each individual has its own unique pattern of energy. So the heart, the brain, the liver, the kidneys, the all, everything. So it's not just about thoughts and emotions that you think consciously or unconsciously but it's about all the thoughts and emotions of everything inside of you. And the key here is about alignment. So the core here is alignment. So the purpose of alignment, alignment is in a state of peace, a state to be able to choose without being reactive, without having something compel you to do something. Most thing, most people in life and in life, we are, pushing away or allergic to something. So we're pushing something we want that is usually good, or we're doing the opposite, which is holding on to or attracting the thing we don't want, which is addicted. So at every push, there is a pull. To every pull, there is a push. And this, technique goes in and says, okay, so if I have a goal, some word, some idea, some food, some whatever it might be, energy, just anything, that if I don't have that thing, it is based off of this philosophy. The only reason that you don't have what you have, what you want, is if something is addicted or allergic. That's it. You're pushing or pulling. That's it. So if you can get into a state of alignment, it neutralizes the allergy, neutralizes the addiction, and allows you to choose. So you don't have to get into root causes. You don't have to figure out all of the stories behind it. If you miss something, it tends to be okay. It's like more thorough because you get the body as a whole and the being as a whole and focused on what you want, okay? and what you don't want, and making sure that you're not getting what you don't want, and you are getting what you do want. So I developed this technique, it actually started with my wife, who was allergic to gluten. 
And I had done hundreds of techniques and tools and, and mentoring tools and breakthrough stuff. And I had, was really frustrated because I wanted to get a goal. I wanted to be better. I wanted to be less addicted. I wanted to be more focused. I wanted to be, sh I wanted to show up in my full power, my full capability. And I realized that something was still off. And I was at a low point and I thought, well, I'm at least going to like just go help my wife and maybe do some, some technique pulsing and help her get to where she can eat gluten. So I tried the technique that used to work on other people that I tried on and it didn't work on her. It worked for like two or three days and she had an eight year allergy to gluten and she relapsed to like within a couple days. And I was like, dang it. I just felt miserable. I felt like I couldn't even help my wife and I wanted to be this transformational coach. I had had successes, but certain things were not working for me. I'd hit a plateau in my income and I was like, oh, like what is off? And I was doing all these breakthrough tools and getting to root causes and finding root motions and removing trap things and, and repetition and passion to vision, all these tools that I'd been using, but it like, plateaued, something was missing. And I did hypnotherapy and everything, trying to figure out what was going on. And I couldn't pinpoint, I couldn't figure it out. And the people I was working with, they, we, we were just, I was stuck. And as I was thinking about this phenomena with my wife, I thought the only reason she's addicted or allergic to gluten is because some part of her is allergic to gluten. I know that might sound super simple, but the only reason, so she had this gluten, the only reason she did, she had negative reactions is if some part of her was not aligned to gluten. So if she was 100% aligned, theoretically, she should be able to eat gluten, no problem. She wouldn't have any allergic responses or any addictive responses. So based off of that, I used a process that my dad had taught me as a clinical kinesiologist and he had dabbled in a couple different techniques and this was one of them where you tap uh, and this is how you do it. So you tap here, breathing into the nose, out to the mouth, into the nose, out to the mouth, into the nose, out to the mouth, and then you pant while tapping three times and then you smile. So he had taught me this process, except you had to do it on someone else and you had to tap down the spine. And it was mainly used as a release technique. If you had some sort of negative feeling, you just tap and it releases. And as I dove into it and really explored the depths of this process, he, he showed me that he was just barely using it at all in his clinic. And I thought, okay, out of all the tech, techniques I've learned, which one can help people shift something the fastest and align? So I looked at them and I, I tested them all and it came down to this simple breathing process, even over all the other things that I'd done thousands of hours with. And I thought, well, holy cow, maybe it's just not used in a systematic way that could be optimized to its full potential. So then I put it into a system that goes from A to Z, covers everything about you from physical to mental to emotional to the things that you keep you trapped to the things that keep you want to make you free. And we just check, is the thing you want 100% aligned with this? Is it 100% aligned with this? Is it 100% aligned with this? And you go through systematically aligning everything, every part of you to the thing that you want. So. I use the abundance alignment technique. It worked on my wife and then we started doing it on gluten, soy, lactose, uh, peanuts, and we got similar results with many people. And I thought, wow, if it works so good with food, does it work with money? Because theoretically, the food is a frequency. It's a pattern of energy. And if money is a frequency, then the only reason someone doesn't have a certain amount of money in their bank account is if some part of them is pushing away that idea of that certain frequency or addicted to a past idea of a certain frequency. So then we did it and within 24 hours, I did an alignment on myself on, I have people reach out to me and pay in full for my products that I haven't marketed to. And within 24 hours, I had four people reach out to me on different platforms that turned into $8,000 of sales. And I was like, what? 
God, is this placebo? Keep it coming. Like, this is awesome. So then we tried it on other things and other practitioners. And Eric, he, Dr. Eric, doubled his income in, in less than 30 days and maintained it month to month to month to um, Bill, an amazing practitioner who had done different modalities, did it on having new clients and was able to create 10 new clients in a week, whereas normally that would have taken him three months. And we saw all these people changing and a person made his first $10,000 in a month after he was stuck at the $400 a month on his uh, other side business. And within 30 days to the dot, he made $10,000 by aligning to $10,000 a month. So it was just like, we saw all these cool things with money. And I thought, well, does it work with health and relationships? So then we used it on health things and cardiac arrest symptoms and glycomas, we've seen it, and brain tumors and like all sorts of uh, hip pain and back pain and headaches. And I was like, dang, this is amazing. And then we did it on relationships. So how do they can connect with their spouse and people having better relationships with their kids and their spouse? So I'm really passionate about it. I'm a little bit biased because I'm the creator of it. And yet I believe that uh, when not to use this, so when to use this is on things that you want. If you want to attain your goal really quickly or to get out of things that you don't want. So if you have something, some pattern or cycle that's going on that you don't want, awesome to, to get out of that. Also on something that you do want and you want it faster, super good process to use. I don't use this technique when I would not use this is if there's a lot of uh, like a group thing going on more for um, energy like how would I say it like let's say there's a, a phenomena happening on the land or like wrecks are occurring all the time or like there's a huge fear around your neighborhood there's just like permeating big things I wouldn't use the abundance alignment technique as much I would use a different modality for that. And if you wanna check out which one, you can actually see in the comments below, I have a webinar that I did that covers all the different techniques that I've used over the years and how they compare to each other and which one I think is the best overall. And so you can check that down below, super cool. Um, and it'll give you some insights on all the different pieces and all the techniques, okay? So abundance alignment technique, super powerful. If you yourself want to have a huge change, if you want to attract things super fast, if you want to get into a state of alignment, get out of negativity into positivity, very powerful. If you want to get out of addictive behaviors, super, super cool. Um, the only thing I, I don't usually use it on are more uh, things outside of you. So if you want to affect um, doing, helping someone else, I would do actually a different modality, different technique because the other one's a little faster. So the downside to this, it is very thorough, takes a long time. It can at first. You get into different modes and, and layers with this. It can take sometimes two to three hours to do a full process, like super thorough. That's the downside is that it's very, it's, uh, it can take a long time, long time, a couple hours. However, the upside is it's super thorough and once it's done, it's done and you don't have to redo it. So very, very effective. If you wanna like pinpoint something and change it and have it change completely, abundance alignment technique, that's the, the, the one that I go to. Cool? All right, so with that, real fast, just a little bit more about it and then you can check out some more videos and go to the one that compares everything. Um, again, so what you do is you can take what you want or take what you don't want and a, there is a whole system to it. We have a full course that teaches how to do the full process, but some of the basics are simple to where you just, let's say you write down what you want. So you could write it on a piece of paper and you can just put it on different spots of your body that resist that thing. You can muscle test. You also have to, if you wanna speed it up, another thing is muscle testing. So you'll wanna know how to muscle test to get really, really effective results. And then also the other piece is um, you just, you just follow the system. So it's step by step. Okay. So with this, you would write down, let's say your goal is to have more love in your life or to feel good enough to feel good enough. Let's say it's, you, you just don't feel good enough. You don't feel worthy. You don't feel deserving. So you could write, I feel worthy and deserving and I'm good enough. Okay. Then 
you would check to see where you're not 100% aligned to that positive statement. And you would start, you could, you, you, you'd follow the whole system that it has set up, but you could just do it on some parts of you. You could say, okay, cool, is my heart 100% aligned to the statement? If it's not, or if you just don't feel like it is, then you just put it on there. And smile. And then you would have that uh, release or the shift or the alignment would occur. Then you could put it on different parts that resist that phrase. And once you're done, you're fully 100% aligned to the thing. So it's super awesome, super effective. And yeah, we've, we've seen hundreds and thousands of, not, I'd say several hundreds of, of testimonials of people just totally getting results, cool results with this technique. So um, that's what I have on it so far. We could go on and on and on about this technique. But I just want to do a quick review of the abundance alignment technique, when to use it, when not to use it. Uh, other places I wouldn't use it is like, if you just want, let's say, um, if you're unsure of what's going on, then, and you don't want, how would I say this? If you're really lazy and you don't want to fin figure out what you want or what you don't want, then this might not be the one to do. Okay, so that might be a downside. There's other techniques that if you're like, I just can't even do anything, then you might try one of the other techniques that uh, I talk about until you get to the point where you're more conscious and then you're like, I'm ready to get what I want. You could do it on, I don't know what I want and I have clarity about what I want and then align and then you'll have more clarity and you'll know what you want. So theoretically you could use it on that, but I personally might use a different method to get up to the level to then be like, okay, now I know what I want. So now I'm going to go align to what I want to make it happen in a fraction of the time. Make sense? All right, cool. So that's some of the very basics of abundance alignment technique. Uh, we, I do Facebook groups and have, I have a whole Facebook group on it, abundance alignment technique. And then we have many courses you can check out to learn some of the basics in the comments as well. And the main one go check out though that you'll want to see is how this compares to all the other ones out there and the nuances and, and everything there. So check that out, should be in the comments there. And like this video, if you are in a state where you believe that abundance could be or should be or can be more abundant in your life and that alignment is where it's at. So aligning to neutralize the allergies and addictions. And like, subscribe if you want to get more access to more access, access more of these powerful processes. And also drop me a comment. Let me know what other things you'd like to see reviewed or are if you want more in depth on some of these videos. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the next video.